everyone, it's Linda. Today we're in my kitchen because I want to share with you a quick and easy cookie recipe. If you like seven layer bars, I think you're gonna like this cookie. And what makes it easy is we're gonna start with this. So let me turn the camera around and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this cookie mix, which is your, just your basic oatmeal cookie mix from Betty Crocker, and we're gonna mix it according to package directions. And what it calls for is a stick of butter, a tablespoon of water, and one egg. And the butter needs to be softened. And I'm just gonna mix that up and I'll be right back. Okay, I've mixed the cookie mix according to package directions. And now I'm gonna add the other ingredients that would normally be added to a seven layer bar. And I've already pre-measured it and what it is is a half a cup of each of these ingredients. So we have a half a cup of coconut. So we're gonna mix that right in. A half a cup of butterscotch chips or morsels. A half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. A half a cup of white chocolate chips. Now some recipes call for the white, some don't. So if you don't like it, you don't have to put it in, but I'm putting it in mine. And we'll give that a good mix. You know, your, your basic seven layer bar is basically just a crust made out of graham crackers with sweetened condensed milk poured over top of it. And then you layer these other ingredients so if you wanted to, you could probably add some crumbled graham cracker crumbs. I don't have any right now, or I probably would. But this oatmeal cookie dough is gonna give you a very, very similar um, flavor. And next we're gonna add a half a cup of chopped nuts. And again, I've seen recipes call for walnuts. I've seen them call for pecans. So what I've done, I've just chopped up some walnuts and some pecans. So it's a half a cup. I gotta dump those in there. One's getting away. So let me get this all incorporated and we'll come back and I'll put it on the baking sheet for you. Okay, everything's been incorporated. I have a parchment lined cookie sheet and I'm going to use this tablespoon size measurer to scoop it out. It should give me a nice size cookie. And we're simply just going to put them on the baking sheet. And I probably should have sprayed this with a non-stick spray. It would have helped the cookie dough not stick in the, the spoon of the measure. Let me finish this up and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my first batch ready to go in the oven. And I'm thinking this is probably going to make about three dozen cookies. I have the first batches out and it's cooling and I wish you guys could smell how good it smells in here. So I'm going to go ahead and make another batch and I'll check back with you guys when they're all done. Okay, the cookies are all done. This house smells amazing. It's so warm and cozy in here. It's because it's only in the 20s today outside, so this feels really good. And I got exactly three dozen cookies. So I have the plate of cookies. I have one batch here that is still cooling and so I mean I gotta taste test a warm one right? Those are so good. 
So until next time, thanks for watching.